what is it the mistakes that we see being made is I see this a lot particularly with lawyers they go in with that I've done a good job up to now will you please make me a partner which is all about going hey I've hit my billable targets I've been here a long time I'm able to win a bit of my own work I deserve to be made up to partner and the reason why that's a mistake is you have to demonstrate that you can grow a business you know your partners go brilliant senior associate legal director that can win 50 to 100 grand a new business by themselves great awesome it's not what they're looking for they're looking for they're not looking for just a great senior associate or great senior manager they're looking for someone who is acting thinking and feeling like a partner i've seen this one a lot you know a, a, a lot of people and i see this think that their business case is just filling out the partnership admissions forms for their firm absolutely not it's where you demonstrate to your partners that you can grow a profitable practice within the wider firm you obviously cannot do that at the weekend it's a process it generally takes a couple of years and i see this before you know there's you have to remember that people are thinking about is there a business case and are you the right person to deliver that and so we often don't see enough evidence of a what's happening with the market where's this extra work going to come from you know, the last thing your partners want to do is bring you in a partner and you cannibalize another partner's business. I see this as well, you know, people just don't know their numbers well enough. Remember, you're going in as a business partner. Imagine you were going to pitch, we have in the UK and I think around a lot of the world, this thing called Dragon's Den, it's sometimes called Shark's Den, where people go in and pitch, uh, get to get investment for their business. That's what you're doing, basically, with your partner panel interview. You're pitching for them to invest in you. So if you don't know your numbers, you know, you wouldn't do that. Absolutely wouldn't do that. I see this a lot. They don't get, remember, this isn't about, hey, a business case. This is about where your partners trust you to deliver it and they see the opportunity, which means that you've got to get buy-in. You know, remember, making partner really means becoming a business partner and owner of the business. You've got to be voted in. You know, so if partners don't know you, there's a risk that they won't vote for you. And this means that your business case needs to be agreed upon before you even start thinking about going through the process. And, and too often I see I'm hitting my targets so it should be made up to partner. I see I can win some of my own work so it should be made up to partner or, or business cases written about that. What they're not thinking about is that any business case needs to contribute to the direction partnership is going in. They're not thinking about the business case can't cannibalize an existing partner's business. But I see this as well. We get these too many superlatives. You, you read the business case and what you actually start hearing is I'm a great people person. I'm a great people leader. I'm great at winning business. People aren't interested in that. What they really want to know is what are the facts? What are the qualitative and quantitative stuff that is going to help you do this? And actually, some of these achievements, if they demonstrate that you are partner material, need to be captured. And I talk to people that as a senior manager, senior associate director, you should be writing down these bits of evidence so that when you get to that form and it says describe a time when you've had to, you've already done that thinking. Mm -hmm.